D'Angelo's getting his little morning massage. D'Angelo, you're so lucky. Gotta get yeah. the hamstrings. Mm -hmm. Daddy don't give me morning massages. <laughs> You're so lucky. Because mommy, you grown. Ah, oh, D'Angelo. Alright, let's hurry up and get ready, buddy. You're gonna go spend the day with your cousins today. Oh, you're excited, aren't you? You're loving this little massage. Look at his face. Look at his face. Yeah. He's getting the right spots. Yeah. Good stuff, bud. Good stuff. Take it all in now, buddy. Time to get ready and out of this place. Got so much stuff to do. I've been waking up so late these days and I have not been able to get on the road early to finish what I want to finish. So, today's the day to get things done, but not before I put my mascara on. Now that's better. Mascara done, bottom liner done, hair deed. Now we're off. I actually think I'm gonna take D'Angelo with me downtown because he's taking a nap and I want him to sleep before he goes to my parents' house so he's not cranky because the kids are gonna wanna play with him, of course. So, I think that's the plan. So I've got my husband's card today because my battery is almost gone, so he went to go fix my battery for me. I'm driving in this car and it's hot as hell in here. And so I have the AC at like 18 degrees Celsius, but then I realized I didn't even touch the snowflake button. I guess that's the AC button. Like, how was I supposed to know that? So I spent a good hour in traffic, burning up. My back is sweating. My armpits are sweating. And now the cool air is blowing as I get downtown. Go figure, right? So I ended up dropping D'Angelo off so that I can get some stuff done. Although he was napping, he woke up right away. So all good. Um, I am starting my own fashion line online store so I come downtown to pick up some of my favorite material uh, just to see what I can get you know get done I want to really start working towards my passion I don't want to work for nobody no more but you do what you got to do until your passion can become your full-time job and your reality this is the material uh, yeah, I have some ideas for this, so, yeah. I always do this shit. Like, I knew the gas was low before I left my house, and I figured to myself, when I get downtown, I'll get gas. Now look where it is, and I can't even find a gas station anywhere. And just my luck, I bet you the car's gonna stall, and I'm gonna have to call CAA to come get my ass. This is so embarrassing. And, like, I'm here stuck in traffic. and there's no gas station in sight. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my gosh, man. I see no gas station right now. Okay. Oh my gosh. That's why I hate coming downtown. It's always some sort of drama. Okay, I think I see a gas station just up ahead. Why do I do this to myself? I don't I don't understand. It's like I never learned. It's like I'm waiting for my card to stall one day to teach me a lesson. Does that make any sense? No. Good thing D'Angelo is with me because it's hot outside. If my car stalled, we'd be fucked. I made it. Thank goodness because 
it would have been so embarrassing if I had to call a tow truck to come get my ass or to bring some gas. We're good, people. All right, time to get out of here. Oh, finally, I am home. I'm exhausted. Today felt like the longest day ever, but anyways, I'm starving. And it's Tuesday, which means Taco Tuesday. So, and that's my husband's like favorite thing to eat. Well, one of his favorite things. So that's what we're gonna do, tacos. So of course, as usual, I'm over here slaving over the kitchen. No, just joking. I mean, I love to cook, so I do the cooking. Denison does, you know, like the man stuff. I mean, and not to say that cooking isn't man stuff because my brother is a chef and my dad cooks. Denison cooks too, but I do prefer to cook. Denison does like all the cleaning. He does like puts the garbage away, takes care of our cars, cleans our cars. So we have a good, uh, good situation going on here. What's Denison doing? Oh, of course, Denison's over here pretending to work out. I mean, <laughs> every time there's like a big event happening, so Carabana is like our carnival here in Toronto. So this is when he starts to, you know, act like he wants to get his sexy on. I got like two weeks, man. I got like two weeks. Get it. So as he works out, I'll cook, then we can grub a dub dub. Yum food, cause food must eat. So we got the ground beef going. You gotta have the cheese, must have the cheese. Gotta make my own homemade salsa with cilantro, onions, tomato, lime, all that good stuff. Got the other salsa. Denison likes that one. And yeah, this is what we're doing. Okay, so we're adding in the taco seasoning, of course. Ready? This is my favorite part to put on the taco. Lime, cilantro, sweet onions, tomatoes. Oh, it's so good. Ground beef is done. I know it's a little bit oily, but it's all good. It don't kill you, only make you stronger, right? We have to have sour cream. You can't have a taco without sour cream. That's just insane and crazy. Our lettuce, and we are ready to eat. I put my sour cream on first. Well, on the soft taco. And I put my ground beef on. Oh, can't forget the sweet corn. A little bit of cheese. A little bit because I'm, I'm actually lactose intolerant and I still eat it. I don't know, it's crazy. I know, I get it. <laughs> lettuce, how can I forget the lettuce? Okie doke, and you know what? I, it, Splash of this one because it's kind of hot, so you know, I like a little bit of heat. And we are just about done. Now, time for my hard taco. Okay, 
Okay, so they're all done. Good to go. Am I missing anything else? Nah. Alright, let's, let's taste it to see how this tastes now. Guys, 